All right, time now for Great Day Food. We've got a great idea for dinner. And it's perfect if you're doing meatless Monday or you just want something warm and easy. Chef Plum is teaching us how to make a delicious veggie stew. Hi, Chef. Happy Monday. Happy Monday to you guys. Good afternoon. I couldn't, This is my favorite week of the year, and I get to start it off with you guys. I couldn't be more lucky. Yeah, you're going to uh, Mohegan Sun this weekend, right? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, it's going to be incredible. I can't wait. I'm hosting the main stage uh, in, in the Grand Tasting for two days. I'll be doing a demo. We'll be doing some little bites for everybody to taste. And then also, I'm doing the dining around too, but also uh, this year, Thursday night, if you're coming out early, come to the Lansdowne. We are doing my podcast, Plum Love Foods Live, live from Lansdowne. Guest galore. I can't give away all the names because nothing's like cold and confirmed, but some big names are coming through. So cool. come hang out with us. Yeah, absolutely. All wow, right. That's cool. Okay. Veggie stew. Uh, you say it's quick and easy? Listen, I got a really cool tip with this, okay? So uh, there's three different ways you can make this particular soup. I'm going to show you how to make this in your crock pot or in your, like, I have an Instapot here, which is like my favorite toy ever that I got. Here's the coolest part. Let me show you guys this. I don't know if everybody ever thinks about this. So the Instapot. This piece comes out of it, right? This is like the main cooking part of your Instapot. And if you have a crock pot, that one big piece comes out of it. So to take this out, and what I want you to do is we're going to do this the night before, okay? So do this Sunday night before you go to bed. It's really simple. I've got a little uh, chopped up carrots and celery here, or as we call in the business, mirepoix. And Kara, I took your advice, and guess what? This is that pre-chopped stuff from the grocery store. I'm not yeah. going to hide it. Yeah. Put it right in there. Big Y always right? has Put it. Put it right in there. Carrots, celery, and... Um... And the carrots, yeah, and the onions. Yeah. Carrots, onions, and celery, mirepoix, and it's done. It's already in there. I've got a little bit of green beans here. And you can alternate your vegetables for this pretty easily, but the one thing you want to do is try to keep things roughly the same size. I've got a little bit of potato because we want that starch in there, right? I'm going to take one whole garlic clove, and I'm just going to drop it in. That's it? I've got a little bit of zucchini. Yeah, that's it, a little zucchini right here. And you can see I've got it. I kept it kind of chunky, but that's okay. I'm going to put it right in there. And then I'm going to take a little bit of frozen corn. I'm just going to dump that bag of frozen corn there. This is about half a bag in here. Then I'm going to take a can of white beans, okay? These are like just white beans or New England white beans. Yeah. Dump those in there too. We're going to take a can of tomatoes. This is just crushed tomatoes all right in here. Then I'm going to add a couple cranks of black pepper into it. This pepper tastes good. We like to season our food. And then we're also going to add one big spoonful of salt, Okay. Once this is in here, give a little squirt of olive oil. You can use butter if you prefer. I use olive oil. And then take one sprig of rosemary. Take this whole thing. Give it a couple spins with a spoon like this. And then what I want you to do is take this, put it in your, wrap it up. Plastic wrap it, put it in your refrigerator, foil it, put it in your refrigerator. The next morning, okay? You're getting ready to go to work. You got to have dinner for night for nighttime for whenever the kids and everything else. I'm going to grab my Instapot. I'm going to put it on the counter. I'm going to open up my container with all my veggies and everything in here. I'm going to pop it right into my Instapot. I'm going to take half a box of veggie stock and pour it in there. Give it a quick spin around with your spoon like this. Quick little spin around with the spoon. And then what we do, put that top on it, set it. Don't even worry about it anymore. I can't use that line. Set it, forget it, because I'm pretty sure it's copywritten. But set this up. Let it cook for eight hours on low. And then when you get home, this is going to be ready to rock and roll couple other ways you could do this. Do the exact same thing with a crock pot. It does the same thing. Cook it on low for about eight hours. When you come home from work, you'll be ready to rock and roll. Let's say you don't have a crock pot. Let's say you don't have an Instapot. Another way you can do it is really, really simple. All you're going to do is take a pan, a big pot like this. Now, I don't recommend leaving this at home you know, without you there. But take this pot, bring it to a, a simmer on your stove, and throw it in the oven at 300 degrees for about an hour. And it comes out beautifully. Mm -hmm. So it's still kind of slow cooking those vegetables. Because what you want is those vegetables to break down, be nice and soft, and comes together beautifully like a wonderful, wonderful stew. Check this out. Let me show you here in the camera, or the overhead. I'll show you what it looks like here. Look at this. Are you kidding me? Look how wonderful that looks, yeah, that's right? Beautiful. Look how beautiful wow, that, that looks. Is good. And all those, oh my God, those potatoes get nice and soft, and those beans sort of add so much flavor to it. And what I do is I take a couple spoonfuls like this, put it right into a bowl. And then, you know, I got to have a little bit of bread. Even though I'm trying to be healthy, Scott, I still have my rolls. Take a little bread with it like this. Mm -hmm. Finish it with a little black pepper because I always like black pepper. Don't forget a square of olive oil. And here you go. Check this out. You're going to have dinner ready to rock and roll yeah. when you get home from work. Piece of cake. Yeah. This is some great stuff here. You got to give us a try. Do you Wait. strain Wait. the beans before or do you, you just throw the whole them? can? Do you have to rinse the beans? You oh. don't have to. I do because my wife yells at me if I don't. Okay. But you definitely don't have to. If I make this for somebody else, I don't because I like that liquid. It adds a lot of flavor. Don't be afraid. <laughs> okay, very good.
Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> as long as your wife doesn't yell miss. at you. Okay. We don't want your wife to yell at you. So good. Strain the beans. All right. Strain the beans. Chef. Thank you, Chefy. She I'm, yells at me all the time now. I don't know. See you guys later. Take have care. Have a great weekend at Mohegan Sun. Listen. I can't wait. Hope to see you guys there. All right. We'll see you there. We don't yell, wives. We instruct. Oh. <laughs>